In AutoCAD 2013, you can easily create section views from existing drawing views. Choose from standard section options such as half, offset, and full, and then pick points to define the section line. The context-sensitive ribbon tab provides easy access to section view creation tools. A section identifier is automatically applied, or you can override it with your own identifier. After placing the section view, a view label identifying the section and scale is automatically inserted. The appearance of the section line, view label, and other aspects of the section view is determined by the section view style. You can select from predefined section view styles or define your own using the section view style manager. When creating or modifying a section view style, you can specify a variety of properties and preview the changes as you make them. Customize the appearance of the section identifier and arrows, including the ability to exclude specific characters and specify the arrangement between identifiers and arrows. Control the appearance of end and bend lines, as well as the cutting plane lines themselves. For the section view, you can choose whether to show the view label and specify view label properties such as color, position, and distance from view. You can even define default properties for section view hatches, including pattern, color, and scale. The changes you make to the section view styles are automatically applied to the section views. For some of the properties, such as hatching, you can override the section view style for selected objects. Selecting a hatch in a section view, for example, enables you to use the properties palette, ribbon tab, or object grip to modify its hatch pattern or scale. Just as easily modify other properties of a section view after it's been created. If you project a view from a section view, it takes on the properties of the section view and maintains associativity with it. If, for example, the section line changes, the projected view updates accordingly. When creating and editing section views, you can control whether individual model components participate in the section using the Edit Components tool. If the selected components are set to none, the components display without being sectioned. The participation of components is passed to the views projected from the section view. Given the dynamic association between section line, section view, and other dependent views, it's crucial for the section line to be accurately positioned in relation to the model geometry. For this, you can use the Symbol Sketch tool to constrain the section line to the model. For example, you can ensure that the section line is always parallel to a specified wall and passes through the center of a specific object. Now the section line can't be moved in relation to the drawing view. And if the part on which it's centered moves, the section line will automatically move with it. In AutoCAD 2013, you can create detail views from existing drawing views. A contextual ribbon tab offers a choice between circular and rectangular detail views. A detail identifier is automatically applied and incremented as you create subsequent detail views, or you can override it with your own identifier. And a view label identifying the detail view and scale is inserted. The detail view is automatically scaled up from the parent view. If needed, you can change the scale as you create the view or at a later time using the scale grip. Additional view editing tools enable you to easily change between a circular or a rectangular boundary. And you can choose to display the boundary border, include a connection line between the parent view and the detail view, and apply jagged or smooth edges. You can edit the identifier, choose whether you want to show the view label, and show or hide hatching. The appearance of the detail view label is determined by the detail view style. You can select from predefined detail view styles or define your own using the detail view style manager. The preview pane enables you to see the changes as you apply them. Control the appearance and the arrangement of the identifier as well as various properties of the detail boundary including the boundary line, model edge, and connection line. You can choose whether to show the view label and you can specify properties such as color, height, and distance from view. You can easily modify a detail view after it's been created. 
Grips on the detail symbol enable you to move the boundary and edit its size. To ensure that a detail boundary maintains an appropriate position relative to the model, you can apply constraints with the Symbol Sketch tool. In this case, a concentric constraint centers the circular boundary on one of the wheels, and a diameter constraint requires the boundary to be exactly 40 units. The detail boundary can no longer be moved or resized, and even if the pulley moves around in the model itself, the detail view will follow it.